Hi DIYers, this is Michael from Alarm Grid, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add or pair or enroll, whatever you want to call it, a Z-Wave lock to your Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus security system. The Pro A7 Plus has a Pro Wi-Fi ZW card inside, which is a Z-Wave Plus controller. You will also find it in the Residio Pro A7 Plus C, but if you have a Honeywell Home Pro A7 or a Residio Pro A7C, then you would need to add that module to the system before you would be able to add Z-Wave devices, including Z-Wave locks. We have a Z-Wave lock here, and we're going to be enrolling it with the system. I'll show you a little bit of the functionality, and I'll also show you how you can set up a user code to push down a code to the lock. Um, so lots to cover today, so let's get right into it. Uh, we're at the main screen of our Pro A7 Plus or other Pro Series alarm panel. We can click the three horizontal bars at the bottom. We can choose Devices. Z-Wave management, and we do need a code to get in. We can use our master code, which ours is at the default. One, two, three, four. Usually change that code. You might also try your installer code, default 4112. And so we're at the Z-Wave management menu. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go to exclusion mode because we're going to clear this device from the network first. Even if it's not paired with a network, it might have some residual Z-Wave network data stored inside of it. And clearing it from the network, um, it's best practice. and it will ensure that it can pair with a network successfully. Um, if you don't know how to activate the inclusion exclusion function on your lock, refer to the manual of your lock. Uh, ours just has a nice button on it that we can press for that purpose. But we're going to choose exclusion mode, and now it's listening for a device to clear from the network. We can press this button on the lock, which is the inclusion exclusion button, and you see that we have one device excluded. And then we go to done, and then we're going to go to inclusion mode, and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to press this button. And we're going to wait for it to show up. We might press the button again to try to get it to go through. Oh, the device found. There we go. Um, so we got our lock enrolling right now. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, if you are using a Z-Wave Plus lock, it might ask you for a DSK code um, for S2 security purposes. Uh, this is actually just a standard Z-Wave lock, I believe, so it doesn't have that feature. Um, so yeah, you see uh, the security level S0, um, so it doesn't ask us for a DSK code. But if you do have a higher security Z-Wave Plus or Z-Wave 700 series lock, then it, it will have that feature, and um, you might need to enter in the DSK code to get that S2 security set up. So that's something to keep in mind. The DSK code is usually going to be found on a QR code somewhere on the lock or on the packaging. But um, we can close, choose Done, and then you can see we have our enrolled devices, and we have device 240, which is the lock. OK, so we're at the Z-Wave devices menu here, and you see we have our lock, uh, device 240, and it is locked right now. Uh, so let's try unlocking it. Um, we have the lock, and we'll try pressing the button on the panel to open it. And you see that the lock uh, did unlock. Uh, we do get a jammed signal on the panel, but it did successfully unlock. So it is enrolled with the panel. Uh, we will also be able to include it with smart scenes on Total Connect 2.0 if we want to have it activate automatically. Um, so that's a cool feature as well. As long as your panel is monitored with Total Connect 2.0 uh, automation services, it will get pushed over, and you can control it from that platform, the mobile app, and the web browser. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, so I do want to show you one last feature. Uh, we're going to go to the home screen here by pressing the shield with the cross running through it in the bottom right corner. And now I'm going to show you how you can set up a user code functionality on the lock. Um, so that way, when w w if we want to unlock the lock using a uh, code pushed down from the panel, we can do that. And also, we can have the system automatically disarm when we enter such a code. Uh, so let's go ahead and lock our lock. And our, our lock is locked now. And let's go ahead and set up this feature. So we're going to press the three horizontal bars uh, button at the bottom. We're going to go down to Settings. And we're going to go to User Management. And then we have to use a code to get in. We'll use our master code, one, two, three, four. And then let's set up uh, our master code with this feature. So we're going to scroll down to um, uh, Z-Wave Lock Control. And it looks like it's already set up here. Let's uh, turn it to none. And we'll, we're going to save it, and we're going to redo that again. We're going to set it so it does get pushed down. One, two, three, four. And we'll go back in, and we're going to apply the feature this time so we know it gets pushed down. Sync user code to lock and disarm. So that way, the code will get pushed down to the panel, and we'll be able to automatically disarm the system when we enter the code into the lock. So sync code to lock and disarm, and we'll do save. And we have to provide our master code to confirm. One, two, three, four. And then we're going to press the shield icon in the bottom right corner. Uh, so now I'm going to arm the system, and uh, we'll test the feature out. So uh, we'll arm, and we'll just do arm home. Um, and we'll wait for that to uh, arm. And then when it does, I'm going to try entering a code into the lock. 
and uh, we will see if it unlocks and if the panel disarms. So let's give that a try once this uh, countdown finishes up. Okay, so our system is disarmed now. I mean, it, I'm sorry, it's armed now. <laughs> it's armed home. So uh, let's uh, press, the, um, the, let's activate the lock. And this has a security function. We have to do four, six. And those will always be two randomly generated numbers, just so you can't track the fingerprints on the on the screen. That's actually a feature of this lock. Um, but it looks like I didn't do it quick enough. We'll try again. Two, eight, and now let's try one, two, three, four. And you see that the uh, The lock automatically unlocked, and let's see if we get our thing at the panel. Look at that. Uh, it disarmed without us having to do anything. It automatically disarmed because we set up that feature. Um, so that's just a cool little thing you can do with locks, uh, Z-Wave locks that are set up with the Pro A7 Plus or other Pro Series alarm panel. So that is how you add a Z-Wave lock to your Honeywell Home Pro A7 Plus security system. If you have any questions about Z-Wave locks, Pro Series panels, or alarm monitoring services in general, send an email to support at alarmgrid.com. If you found this video helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up below to like the video. And remember to subscribe to our channel for updates on future videos. We hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.